up? Welcome back to Kingdom Culture Channel. I'm Ashley and I'm glad to come back to you guys with a video for you Kingdom Builders. Uh, for those that have been watching my last videos, you know that we've been talking about the importance of building the culture of the Kingdom of God in our lives. What that looks like in heaven and how to get it right here on earth too. We're going to talk about two major things today. The two kingdom keys I want to talk about today to being rooted are one, prayer, and two, consistency. Let's take a little time to look at Jesus in the Bible. What did he do? Let's look at Matthew chapter 14. In Matthew chapter 14, verses 22 through 23, we see here it says, Immediately Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. After he had dismissed them, he went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. Let's also look at Luke chapter 6. Luke chapter 6. In Luke chapter 6 verses 12 through 13, we'll also see something similar to that. Luke 6, 12 and 13 says, One of those days, Jesus went out to a mountainside to pray and spent the night praying to God. When morning came, he came, he called his disciples to him and chose 12 of them, whom he designated apostles. That's major because when you see a lot of these passages where Jesus went to pray, afterwards, he went on to make really major decisions. He had major decisions to make. So he made sure he set aside time to pray and get the direction he needed. Because remember, this was a very important assignment from God. Just like we all have very important assignments from God. Those decisions, no matter how big and small they may seem to you, they actually play a very big role in helping the vision that God has for your life come to pass. So I think that you know, just as Jesus patterned his life, we can also do the same thing. When we're having to make decisions, remember, no matter how big or small, it can be as small as which way do I take the work today? Because you never know who you're going to meet. You never know who you're going to bump into. You never know who you're going to see at that Starbucks on the other side of town that you usually wouldn't go to. You never know. So you want to make sure you position yourself for purpose. That's right. Positioning yourself for purpose. Prayer, consistent prayer with God helps you to position yourself for purpose because your heart is open and ready for whatever God wants you to do. Your heart in that time of prayer receives direction from God, receives downloads from God so that you can know what step to make. Every step can be very important. Again, no matter how big or small, Prayer can help you position yourself for purpose. So let's also look at one more, Mark. Let's look at Mark chapter 1. Mark chapter 1, verse 35. Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. I can't stress this enough. Jesus spent that time alone praying with the Lord. You want to always make sure you're getting a word from the Lord for yourself. Not that it only benefits yourself, but a word that God says to you that directs your day. You know, we always use that scripture, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. We use that word, that scripture so nonchalantly sometimes. But it, when you spend that time in prayer, when you choose to acknowledge God in those decisions, he truly can give you the best possible outcome and help you to direct your path in the decisions that you make. Just like Jesus, we should have that prayer time with God. That is where we get the downloads, the insight, the understanding, the wisdom that we need to see the culture of God rest, the culture of the kingdom of God rest in our everyday lives. That consistency is such a very important aspect. Whether it looks like every day you're saying from, I don't know, seven to 7.30, from if you want more, seven to eight, 
if you go from your lunch time, 12.30 to one, so that last 30 minutes you can have time to eat. You know, whatever it is, that consistency, setting up a routine, setting up a, a, a space in your life where you say, at this time, I'm gonna make sure I meet with God. Because get this, God is the CEO of everything you do. Everything you produce, God is the CEO of it. You are the steward of the vision of the kingdom of God. Can you see yourself as that big head honcho that's like the point person, that's like running the head of the meetings and knows how to get in contact with the CEO if anything needs to happen? That's you. You are the steward of it. You steward that vision. And so it's up to you how consistent that um, vision is carried out, how, how efficiently that company is ran, how efficiently the vision is produced. That's on you. Now, I'm not trying to make you scared. Sometimes people make mistakes. I'm not saying, you know, you can't. But what I'm saying is if we all understand the the presence we carry, if we all understand the power that we carry to see things produced in the earth, we can see some great things happen. And I'm not only talking to you, I'm talking to me. I'm talking to people that's around me. I'm talking to people in my life. Like this is something we have to realize. God has given us a thing to do. And that thing could branch out into a whole bunch of other things. Or sometimes it could be one thing. But guess what? At the end of the day, when we get, you know, on judgment day, we want to hear, well done, my good and faithful servant. You did what I asked you to do. Thank you. And that's all it's about. So if we can understand that, that those kingdom keys to success, prayer and consistency, oh yeah, oh yeah. We'll see some things get done. So I just want to encourage you guys with that. Have that prayer with God. Have that consistency with meeting with him and see what he produces through you. Kingdom culture can be advanced through you in the name of Jesus. Have a great day, guys. Bye.